everyone. In this video, I will explain how to use the SD card on the ESP3 to S3 development board. In this video, we show you this small SD card. Micro SD card that can be used on this ESP3 to S3 development board. This ESP3 to S3 development board has a micro SD card slot. The corresponding one is this small micro SD card. We can insert the SD card into this card slot. This card slot is pressed down directly and there is a spring device inside. Press once to load the SD card, then press again to eject it. This development board uses the ESP3 to S3 module. Then communicate with this card slot through the GPIO interface. After the SD card is inserted into this card slot, you can use the SPI protocol to interact with the ESP32 to S3 module for data and commands. Here we use the ESP3 to S3 Arduino development kit version 3.03 to explain how to use the SD card on this ESP3 to S3 development board. First, let's look at the relevant history. Where is this process? If you choose the development board, you can find. First, let's choose the development kit for the development board. Here we choose the ESP3 to S3 development kit. This is version 3.03. .03. After selecting this development kit, we can find it in this example. There are two examples in SD. One is SD testing and the other is SD timing. This example is not a third-party library we installed. This is the official Arduino development kit. This is the ESP3 to S3 Arduino development kit with a built-in SD card example. Open these two examples to see some of the history of the use of related SD cards. Let's first look at the SD test. This is the example we are showing on the screen now. This example is in the comments. I've shown you some of the physical structures of the micro SD card. You can see that there are eight pins, two of which are not used. There are two related to power supply. The other four are the pins of a lamp used for SPI communication. It should be noted here that the official chip of ESP32 is expressive. The GPIO pins corresponding to different ESP chips have been given. This GPIO pin is recommended for use by manufacturers of various development boards. Generally speaking, manufacturers will not easily change GPIO pins. These GPIO pins correspond to the SPI function pins of the SD card. You can take a look. We are using ESP3 to S3 here. I also checked the corresponding schematic diagram of the development board. The schematic diagram is the same as this one. That is to say, the GPIO pins of the development board we have now. The GPIO pins used to communicate with the SD card are exactly the same as in the program. That is to say, the official recommendation is followed and the GPIO pins 10, 11, 13, and 12 are used. Read and store data from an SD card. Using this SD card requires three header files. One is FS. The FS header file corresponds to its file system, generally a FAT-related file system. So it starts with Fs.h. Then the other one is SD.h. That is, some functions related to the SD card are here. Another one is a communication protocol related to SPI. 
Of course, if your development board has some custom pins, you can also customize your own pins here. Here our pins are consistent with the official recommended pins. There is no need to change the pins. You can take a look at some of the related functions required by the SD card. It's all given here. The first one is ListDir, which lists all the files in the file directory. You can see. This is a file that can be read in a loop. It will list all the files in the directory, including folders. Then the second function is to create a folder. The third one is to delete the folder. The fourth is to read the file. You can take a look. This is a function that creates a file. In here, then open the file. This is a function that opens a file. This is called opening. If you are familiar with C or C++, you can easily understand how these functions operate files. After the file is opened, it must be closed. This is something you must pay attention to when writing programs. If it is not closed, make has a memory overflow. The following function is to write a file. It is similar to opening a file to read the file above. Open the file including the files written in this. Open the file for writing. Then an operation process. Finally, close the file. After reading and writing, another one is to insert the file. That is to say, we want to insert some other content at the end of the file. That is, use this function to finally append some content to our file. This is written after the existing content in our file. You can see that the difference between this and the above function is the difference in the identifier in open. Finally, after opening, you need to close. Another useful function is rename file, which is a function for renaming. As you can see, its renaming includes domain variables. One is the file to be named. Then one is the name after naming. Also delete files. There is also a test related. These are the files we mainly use. Then you can see that in this example, there are so many files. There are so many functions for file operations. Then the following is a setup. Setup is an initialization configuration of the entire program. You can see. The most important initialization is the initialization of SPI. In fact, the four related GPIO interfaces of SPI are initialized. Then open the SD card to start working. You can see that there is a model of SD card or a type of SD card. There are generally several types of SD cards. This is a model of the SD card it supports. Generally speaking, we now commonly use the latter two. One is SD, the other is SDHC. Generally speaking, the largest SD card is 2G. SDHC can support up to 32 gigabytes. The capacity here is the maximum capacity of this SD card. MMC is generally in a state of being eliminated now. Maybe some players still have some MMC cards. But now MMC cards are rarely seen on the market. Ordinary SD cards are relatively rare nowadays. Of course, some devices may still contain the SD cards we bought before. 
The most commonly used one now is SDHC, which is a card with a maximum size of 32G. Here are the card sizes. This function converts it into a form of MB. Because it is bitten by default. The following is a list of all the functions used above. Including list, read, delete, rename, and other usage examples. If we run it, we will find that some files will be generated in our SD card accordingly. Here our development board has been written into this program. We will rarely start it and it will execute again. Let's take a look at the serial port monitor. You can see that it lists various operations here. The model number of our SD card is SDSC. You can see that it is already written above. So our card is the largest 2 gigabytes SDSC model. Then it lists all the files in my SD card, including the file size, last write time, etc. Created a directory and deleted a directory. First, emitter is deleted, and then emitter is created. Deleted a hello.txt, and then wrote hello.txt again. Ray write hello.txt to this hello.txt. These are some of our common file operations. You can learn how to use SD cards by referring to this program. In addition, this test content also includes an example of IC card timing. The function contained in this example is actually almost the same as the previous example. But the difference in this example is that it turns on Wi-Fi, reads the system, and reads the server time. I guess this example is mainly to check whether Wi-Fi and SD card are compatible. Because the ESP3 to S3 module turns on Wi-Fi, Maybe its performance will be slightly reduced because Wi-Fi takes up more resources. So this example mainly tests its Wi-Fi performance and SD card performance to see if there is any compatibility problem. So this example mainly tests its Wi-Fi performance and SD card performance to see if there is any compatibility problem. Finally, let's look at this example. After its Wi-Fi is turned on, it has little effect on the IC card. These two examples can be said. There is almost no big difference in the use of SD cards. You can learn how to use an SD card through any example. Here we recommend that you use the first example. SD.test can fully master the use of an SD card on the ESP3 to S3 platform. Let's summarize. We use SD card, first of all, its communication protocol is SPI protocol. Then its GPIO interface is officially defined. If the officially defined GPIO interface specification is changed, you can see how the corresponding GPIO has changed. Then make the corresponding changes directly when SPI is initialized. Okay, this video ends here. Thank you for watching.